Hey guys, so it's almost the end of November, which is crazy, and I don't know where the month went. I don't remember doing much except homework, really. So today, I, I'm here to do my November favorites video, and I don't have that many, but knowing me, I'm just gonna ramble about something. For my body favorites, hand sanitizer is back in this in a favorites video but this time it is the wild berry kisses from bed bath whoa from bath and body works not bed bath and beyond um i kind of stocked up on these like i've got another one except oh my gosh yeah this is like my winter holder and i think it's adorable favorite song I really wanted to pick one that wasn't glee related but i can't really say i've been listening to much else as usual. Um, so I have three and only two of them are Darren Chris. So the first one is It's Time and I think that was the first song in season four and I don't know it just makes me happy like especially when I'm at the gym it just makes me want to like jump and skip and be happy. Um, the second one is Piano Man which is from the last episode which was the I shouldn't say the last episode because I'm filming this on the 25th was from <laughs> A prior episode where they did like a Billy Joel thing and it was just really cute and really well done. And the third one is Mary of the Night which is Adam Lambert's version and I've been obsessed with Adam Lambert since I first saw him audition for American Idol. I was a fan of his all through to the end and yeah then he kind of disappeared and I was like okay and then he came back on Glee and he's really good on the show so you know. Um, movie Netflix show, I watched White House Down with Jamie Foxx and Channing Tatum. And I didn't think it was going to be that good of a movie, but it actually turned out to be a pretty decent movie, and I really enjoyed it, and I like Channing Tatum, so. Um, and then Glee, I've been watching Glee, and okay, right, that's what I wanted to talk about. Glee has been like my favorite show for like the last couple months now, and I'm all caught up, and I don't want to just sit and rewatch it even though I could, but basically on December 5th they're showing their Christmas episode and then they're taking a break until February 25th or something and there's not gonna be any more clean moments until like April so I'm kind of like I don't know what to do with myself because by the end of this month hope or December I'll be done school so I'm gonna have so much free time and I need a TV show to watch so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know um, what have people been telling me to watch uh, once upon a time American Horror Story that gets requested to me a lot yeah, basically, I need something to watch. I need something to do with my time. <laughs> and then, just the other day, I watched Spring Breakers with, like, Selena Gomez and James Franco and Ashley Benson and Vanessa Hudgens. And people kept telling me not to watch that movie because it was such a bad movie. But I like to know for myself. I like to get my own opinion. It's a bad movie. Right from the beginning, I was like... It was like it had no structure. And I was kind of like, it, it, it just wasn't a good movie. Uh, favorite YouTube video is going to be Prank vs. Pranks Canadian Vlog. I will leave the link to that down in the description. Because there is a point in that video where you can see my friend and I. I will leave a picture right here. And yeah, because it, we were there and we met them and it was awesome. So when we went back and watched the vlog, my friend and I kind of freaked out and they were like, we're in their vlog. So yeah, that was all. Favorite Instagram picture. Okay, wow, I liked, a, I liked a lot of pictures this month. Would it be bad if I picked one of my pictures? Would that be bad? Okay, I'll use my friend's picture. The friend that I took to Buffer Fest. So, yeah. That's us meeting Prank vs. Prank. <laughs> they were so nice. Oh my god. But yeah, basically, I'll talk about it more in a minute, but I took my friend there as like an early birthday present kind of thing. This one, oh my gosh, because this is so me. Yeah. I fangirl all the time. All the time. Favorite book. My favorite book is for this month is What My Mother Doesn't Know by Sonia Stones. Um, as many of you know, I met her when I went to DC and she remembered my blog because I did the Cast and Go Saturday for To Be Perfectly Honest and she really enjoyed it. And it was a good book though, so. And, but... There's another one that could be my favorite because I'm currently reading it, so hang on. 
Now I'm currently reading The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. So this could be my favorite book for the month because like I said it's only the 25th and I haven't finished this yet but I might hopefully by the end of the month. So yeah this will probably end up being my favorite but one of the two or both. We'll go with both. Favorite other is my winter candy apple candle from Bath and Body Works. Why do I always want to say Bed Bath and Beyond? Basically, it just smells like a f like an apple, but kind of sweeter, and it's very like Christmassy, and I like it because I love the smell of apples. Uh, favorite memory again. So Buffer Fest. This is my little linear thing from when I went. So that's kind of that. And they signed it. Is that upside down? That is upside down. And then they signed it. So yeah, Buffer Fest was basically a three-day thing in Toronto where they do like the TIFF, like the Toronto International Film Festival. So we went to like the Bell Lightbox and the Scotiabank Theatre. That's where they did that and I forget where the meetup was. But basically we went and it was like this movie theater and there were like 500 of us and for 90 minutes you get to sit there and they show you like videos on a big screen and we got to see the cookie dance days before anybody else got to see it and it was really awesome and we got to ask questions and it was really cool um, and then they did a meetup and it was only supposed to be an hour and a half and my friend and I waited for like three hours in line so they were there for like three and a half to four hours we waited a long time but it was so worth it and it was just a great day and we went shopping at the Eaton Center first and yeah so I'd like to see anybody try and beat that as a birthday present to her or to anybody in general because like Prank vs Prank is like her favorite YouTuber besides Sawyer Harmon and yeah so I got really excited because I wanted to go and I love gift giving so that was that was pretty fun. I had a really great day. This is the same friend that went to DigiTour and YTF with me. So we tend to do a lot of YouTube things together which is totally awesome. And yeah so that was my month. Uh, let me know what you guys did down in the comments, and we can reminisce about a month together. And next month is Christmas, and university applications start, and that's another favorite. Oh my goodness, SATs are over. Thank goodness. That was so stressful. Oh my, it doesn't even feel like it's been a month. That's... It was bad. That's a long test, too. A month is not long enough to study for that. Anyway, so yeah, next month will probably be very interesting. Oh, I should probably mention I'm doing Vlogmas. Um, I didn't mention that in my book haul, but yeah, that'll be my first Vlogmas video. Basically, Vlogmas is where you post a video every day until December, so 25 videos. And I am participating, and Alyssa from AC Reads is supposed to be doing it with me. And yeah, I've got a few things planned out, and I'm very excited, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, look forward to that. So there will be a video from now, basically until Christmas essentially. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with my wrap up. Bye!